I'm Stevie Shao. I'm a Seattle-based and Seattle born and raised illustrator and muralist. And I do a little bit of everything, illustration, design stuff. I love working on merch for like local businesses and all my friends and things. I'll do like canvas paintings, paintings on wood. During the pandemic, a lot of businesses um, were concerned about break-ins, things like that. So a lot of them were boarded up on the outside, just covered in plywood. And over the course of about a week, Ballard had a bunch of artists come through and paint those boards. And for a lot of people, that was like their first few murals. For me, it was my first few murals, like painting at a large scale. All of these small businesses were getting boarded up and this beacon of hope in her color and her vibrancy, her patterns. And we kind of started to see it all over town. We fell in love with everything about her, her drive, her work ethic, her fierce loyalty to her own vision and the way that she translates that in different spaces and per project kind of just blew us away. And we were like, if she'll have us, this would be the dreamiest collaboration ever. <laughs> After meeting and talking about it and really getting to check out the space, we decided that we wanted to cover like almost every single service with artwork. All of the pieces from that show I made for the show. She's kind of filled every little nook and cranny in these really fun and surprising ways. I mean, you're going down the stairs and it's like, oh my God, there's another piece and it's perfect and it needs to be there. I think the work that I enjoy making has a lot to do with my heritage and retelling those kind of stories and integrating them with my world, right? Like my universe and my experience. So I like them to have this mystical feel and have a couple passes, you know, like you have the first pass, it's really bold, colorful, hopefully. And, you know, you sort of keep noticing these things about it. I don't know that I would ever put Stevie, especially at this point in her career and in her life, into a category, because I think she's gonna blow all of those categories out of the water. And I mean, I keep telling every person that's buying, you should invest in this now before she has her solo show at the Whitney. <laughs> I think Instagram, especially because I started doing murals during the pandemic, was a really big part of my journey. Just sharing everything. A lot of people that I met after lockdown, I have been in communication with for a really long time over Instagram. I had been emailed by Murphy Gilson, who works for UW, about putting a mural on this one wall in U District. So over time and conversation after doing a site visit, I really wanted to just like blast the whole thing over. This mural is based on a Norwegian folk tale about these two brothers. It is sort of like a Norse origin story. I have a few color combinations that I normally gravitate towards. The contrast is really important between these colors. So it normally ends up being sort of like red and blue or black and orange. I'm hoping that there's a vibrancy, like a life that is breathed into the storytelling behind the imagery and sort of the care that is put into painting something so large. Seeing my work out in the wild is really special to me. I think because I get to think about all the relationships that I built that led up to that project happening and seeing people interact with it or, you know, enjoy it or just walk by it is, is pretty special. I think I would always find time to make art. It's always been a huge part of my life and a huge part of who I am. Follow Stevie and her myriad of creative projects on Instagram and at stevieshow.com. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 and anytime online at seattlechannel.org slash artzone.